go here in the front row. Welcome to Houston. Uh, you guys go up against a, uh, a team that has been more than beyond dominant in this area and it is in this league in the past years. How do you approach this, uh, this uh, matchup and how do you prepare to go up against uh, this team at their place? It's going to be packed tomorrow. Yeah. Um, just ex extremely thankful to be in this situation. Um, something that you uh, dream about really as kids. You want to be up in these moments. Um, get to play on the road at Pack House. Uh, we know it's going to be loud. You know it's going to be hostile. But yeah, just tr kind of treat kind of treat the preparation as like a normal normal start. And we know this team's got a really good lineup. And I'm just going to go out there and try to do what I can and keep everything simple and try to execute the best I can. Go over here in the middle. Bailey, when did you find out you were getting this start? And what emotions ran through you at that moment? Uh, yeah, I found out probably about 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, it was an extremely uh, fun conversation to have with Rocco. Um, I was kind of pre prepping just in case this is, would be the uh, situation. So I had, I had all this stuff this upcoming, or this past week, I was prepping just in case I was going to be the guy. Um, but yeah, it, it's a great, great conversation to have, and I'll be ready to go. We'll stay in the middle there. Hey, Bailey, you started the year in the minors. You got sent to the minors at the end of uh, our start of September for a little break. What does this mean to you in the context of all of that? Yeah, it, it, it's like I said earlier, it's a blessing to be here. I mean, it's been a long road this season, just like every year. It's a long journey. Um, but put a lot of work in this year and had a pretty successful year so far. And we're trying to carry that into the postseason and just going to lean on my uh, my routine and carry that into tomorrow and be re be ready to go and face these guys. We'll stay in the middle of the second round. Bailey, that second reset in September, how much did that take you back, if at all? And um, what did it do for you coming out of that to come back and join the team after that? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a little disappointing at first. It was a little surprising that I was going down. But I, I try to look at it as what I can take from it and what can I be positive about what's going on instead of trying to be a little negative about it. Um, I really used it as more of a mental break um, I know I hadn't been pitching the best at the time at, up in the big league, so I try to use that as a mental reset. And just able to go down with the guys down in AAA, and they are able to kind of take my mind off um, performing and trying to have all the success up here, um, just get back to the, the grittiness of baseball and having fun out being out there and playing relaxed and loose. Um, and I feel like that was able to get me my mentality to kind of switch around and help me prepare for – September and then October baseball. Can you hand it up to the front here? Right behind it. Yes, sir. Congratulations on Thank getting you. the start. Uh, as a pitcher, you're trying to win every pitch, you know, pitch by pitch, batter by batter. But when you look at that Astros lineup, what's the overall feeling you get when, when you when you see that? Uh, is it tougher to to stay in the moment of every pitch when you got, oh my gosh, this guy does this, and I mean, how, how do you handle that? Yeah, definitely, it's a good question. Um, I faced I faced the Astros twice in 21 when Carlos was here with them, um, and that lineup was unbelievable as well. So I feel like it it forces you to focus throughout the entire entire lineup, and then the entire time you're in there, there's no really breaks in the lineup. Um, and some, some pitchers uh, can use that to their advantage. It helps them stay locked in a little bit more. Um, and I'm hoping to do that and um, just lean on past experience pitching here. Uh, I know the crowd's going to be a little different, but just, just lean on past experience and stick to myself and be simple out there and just focus on me and the catcher. What were the results of the two games in 21? They were okay. I threw one game at Target Field and one game here. So I have experience throwing here. Um, I enjoyed throwing here last time. It was up and down game, if what I can remember. But I enjoyed being on the field and throwing on a great mound. And hopefully tomorrow I get the same comfort. Go on the left in the middle. Uh, Bailey, uh, was the conversation with Rocco here or on the bus? And uh, what what did he say to you? What uh, what did he tell you uh, made the uh, decision? Yeah, I was here right when I got here. I got got changed, and they pulled me into his locker room, or his, his room. And basically, he was asking me how I was feeling, how 
preparation was this past week and asked if I was ready to go and then basically said, yeah, you got, you got tomorrow, so be ready and go get them. And that was, it was a pretty short conversation and um, just that's, that's about it. I was excited and now I'm looking forward to it and trying to get locked in. Were you wearing the dad hat at the time? I was not. I changed already. Did, <clears throat> did you feel like there was anything to be gained from watching Sonny, watching Pablo the last two, the two playoff games already? Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's it's more of a composer composure type thing, uh, just with the elevated crowd levels, the noise, um, being able to stay locked in and not let um, the outside forces get to you too much. Um, just really just try to tune everything out and go out there and play baseball, try to keep it as simple as possible. Go in the middle. Yesterday you said they, they kind of hinted to you uh, the start might be coming. How much did that help you just prepare so this isn't something you really just learned 30 minutes ago and keep you locked in during the week? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even after my last start in Colorado, they were, I kind of knew that I wasn't going to be on the first uh, roster just because I just thrown. Um, but they, they kept me locate, or they kept me in the same routine. You know, they kept me on the same bullpen schedule. Um, and that kind of relayed to me just like, hey, you're going to, probably going to get a start. We don't know when it's going to be. Um, so I was, I was just ready for it, either going to be today or whether it was game four. Um, but yeah, today, like, like you said, um, just getting the normal scouting, the normal routine, normal bullpen, just get everything kind of lined up for today. Go on the back right. Bailey, uh, take me back a little bit to growing up in North Carolina. You, you know, it's obviously postseason start. You're going to get this great opportunity. It seems like you're excited about it. But can you kind of take me back and give me a sense of when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, when you're in high school, how do you vi did you visualize stuff like this? Did you think, oh, that'd be cool to be there, or that'd be cool to be me in that position? Can you kind of take me back a little bit and give me some context for your, for your childhood and growing up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I've loved baseball since I was four years old. Um, this is all I've ever wanted to do. I think I wrote a letter to my first grade teacher saying that I want to be a professional baseball player. Um, at the time, I was a Red Sox fan. My, my parents grew up in the Northeast, so I got to watch all their success um, growing up. And I got to see people in my family cry for the first time when they won the World Series in 04. Um, they waited a long time for that. So I know what a lot, a lot of baseball means to a lot of people. And I know this fan base has been starving for success and just watching watching all those games in the playoffs growing up as a kid um, when I was on TV staying up to one to two in the morning watching watching them play that's that's really all I w ever wanted to do I wanted to be in these situations I want to I want the pressure um, I want to go out there and just have fun and enjoy the moment go in the middle I think if I remember right, you were coming out of a hunting trip in the woods when you first learned about the 40-man spot yeah. when you first got put there. Um, yep. From that point to today, how much have you learned about yourself and how much have you grown to kind of help prepare you for this moment through your experience in the big leagues? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was, like you said, it was, I wasn't expecting uh, to get that, those phone calls when I was in, in the woods hunting with my family. But uh, it's, it's been a wild ride. It, I've been trying to enjoy it and enjoy it being with my family every step of the way. Um, it means a lot to me and to them to be able to be in these situations. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a growing process every step of the way. Ever since I got added onto the 40 man, I feel like I've been trying to add to my arsenal, trying to get better every single day. Um, and that, that doesn't stop in season, um, whether it's preparation wise, trying to learn from teammates, um, watch opposing pitchers, um, just see what, see what they do, see what works for them. Um, so I feel like Throughout this entire uh, process, the last two years, the last two years we weren't as fortunate to be able to make the postseason, and now that we are here now, um, just trying to take all those all those moments, memories, um, the good and the bad, the last two years, and try to channel it into tomorrow.